So let's get right into it. How's it going? In the last video you saw that I put on the Clear Glamour Spray, the 2K Max, and the bottom line is I really don't like it. It really is a glass finish. So I wanna go back to a matte one. I did a little bit more research online and I found that 2K actually do do a matte finish. So I've ordered a couple of cans of that and I've ordered a couple of cans of matte black spray just to get me back to where I was. In the meantime, I had to take the work that I'd done and sand it back down again. I used 1500 grit uh, to 2000 grit sandpaper. When I'd finished sanding it, I used Duplicolor Prep Spray. It's a grease and wax remover to help clean off the bike before I spray it. And then I resprayed it with a matte black. Finally, I've got it back to the way it was and I'm super happy with how it looks again. So the second thing that I wanted to do was to properly treat the exhaust. So I had done kind of a job where I'd sprayed just the outside that you could see, but given that I'm gonna be taking the wheels off and spraying them black anyway, I'm gonna to have to take this exhaust off. So I decided to take the exhaust off, clean it up properly, use that same spray that I'd used before to just treat the rust and make sure that it won't rust in future. So to take the exhaust off the bike, the first thing you need to do is remove the little plastic panel that sits between your feet when you sit on the Vespa. There are two bolts under there that you need to be able to loosen up and to get to them easier, it's best if you take this panel off first. The next thing you need to do is loosen, but don't remove the two bolts on the right hand side of the Vespa that connect the exhaust to the frame. Now is the trickiest bit of the whole job. You need to be able to get up underneath where the exhaust connects to the bottom of the engine. And to do that, it's a mixture of trying to get up onto the bike and putting your hand around under that panel that you've opened to be able to loosen those up. Once you've got that done, you can then fully remove the two bolts you've loosened earlier from that attach the exhaust to the side of the scooter. And remember for when you're attaching this later, there's two washers on each bolt. The big bolt goes in the bottom bracket and the shorter bolt goes in the top bracket. Then I used Ace heat resistant paint to cover up the rust and to prevent it from rusting in future. So the exhaust is finished. It's ready to put back on the bike. But I'm not going to put it on just yet because before I do that I want to take the wheels off and spray them black. So next step is to jack the bike up, take the wheels off, give them a spray and see what we can do with that. <laughs> 